Where's Alexander Usak, the rabbit? Hey, rabbit! Usak, you're next, little bitch. You're next. You ugly little man. You ugly little man. Let's get it on. Both fighters have long despised each other. This will be a heated and principled confrontation. Two just getting into the face-to-face. -face. Fury just looking to try and get his forehead bearing down on Usyk and impose himself on him, impose that physicality on him, Usyk. I want to tell one story which looks very similar to our uh, story with Tyson, about David and Goliath. When the Lord gives me Tyson in my hands, I will make my job. You're fighting the best British heavyweight there's ever been. The f***ing dauntless in these waters, me. On February 17th in Saudi Arabia, the most anticipated bout of recent years will take place. The current world champion in the WBO, WBA and IBF categories, Alexander Usyk, and the WBC title holder Tyson Fury will engage in a unification match for the title of undisputed heavyweight world champion. The boxing world has not been shaken by such powerful announcements for a long time. Discussions about organizing this star-studded match have been ongoing since the end of 2022, but the final decision was reached only recently. Now, the two best heavyweights in the world will determine who is the better one. Throughout the negotiations, the Brit was considered the favorite. Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King, an undefeated world champion in the WBC, was born into an Irish Gypsy family that revered boxing as a sacred art. His grandfather and father were boxers, and he got his name in honor of the legendary Mike Tyson. What I'm seeing, there's nobody even been born yet can tackle him. He's the fastest, the biggest, the strongest heavyweight in the world. From childhood, Fury dreamed of becoming a world champion and proving to everyone that he is the best. He started boxing at the age of 10 and quickly showed his talent. In 2008, he turned professional and began his journey to fame. He won fight after fight, knocked out opponents, and won titles. In 2015, he created a sensation by dethroning Vladimir Klitschko in the heavyweight division and becoming the world champion in the WBA, IBF, WBO, and IBO categories. Schulbuchmäßig. Vladimir Klitschko. Seit Jahren bei ihm in der Ecke. Und Fury hat es nicht unterlassen. Traum von Fury probiert diesen Kampf über die Runden zu bringen. Jetzt müsste die Glocke kommen, das ist es. What I expected to be the toughest fight against Vladimir Klitschko, he was undefeated in 11 Whoa. years. But it was one of the easiest fights. Like yeah. the training camp, we focused and I was I was training and boxing like, if he hits me, yeah. I'm gonna go knocked out. And with that fear factor, I went in there and I boxed unbelievable and I, and I took his best shots. I was like, is that it? He was on top of the world, but lost everything due to depression, drugs and alcohol. He gained a lot of weight, lost his belts and left the sport. But Fury did not give up. He found the strength to come back. He got in shape, trained, battled his demons, and returned to the ring in 2018. By this time, two ambitious prospects had entered the race for glory in heavyweight, Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. One was an Olympic champion, the other a ruthless knockout artist. On December 1, 2018, Fury faced the then undefeated WBC champion Deontay Wilder and showed everyone what he was made of. In this fight, the Brit was on the brink of defeat but rose from the canvas after a heavy knockdown. I said, oh man, it's over. And then he got up and then it was almost like a rocky scenario. Everybody went crazy. <laughs> it was just amazing. I just, listen, I'm, I'm a fan. But as we know, heavyweight boxing cannot exist without Ukrainian boxers. Therefore, soon after Joshua, Wilder and Fury, Alexander Usyk joined the scene 
eager to continue the championship tradition of the Klitschko brothers. The Cruiserweight King, an undefeated current world champion in the WBO, WBA, and IBF categories in heavyweight, was born in Simferopol into a military family. His father was an amateur boxer and his mother was a gymnast. He started participating in sports at the age of six, trying various disciplines such as soccer, basketball, rowing, and wrestling. However, his passion became boxing. He began boxing at the age of 15 and quickly became one of the world's best amateurs. He won everything there was to win. World and European Championships, the Tranja Cup, victories at various international tournaments, and finally the gold medal at the 2012 Olympics in heavyweight. In the quarterfinals, he defeated the future professional world champion Artur Beterbiev and in the final overcame the two-time amateur world champion 2007-2013 Clemente Russo. He became a legend in amateur boxing. In 2013, he turned professional and embarked on his path to glory. He skillfully defeated all his opponents, simultaneously collecting titles. In 2018, he accomplished the feat of becoming the undisputed world champion in cruiserweight, holding all four belts. He became the first Ukrainian and the fourth boxer in history to achieve this. He was higher than ever, but he wanted more. Alexander decided to move up to heavyweight and compete with the best fighters on the planet. He made his debut in the new division in 2019 and confidently defeated Chaz Witherspoon. Alexander, how would you rate your performance? I think it was a good, good performance by me, but the most important, I did uh, everything what I was told by my corner. While Alexander was adjusting to his new weight class, Fury had his second bout with Wilder. In the second fight, the Gypsy King dominated the Bronze Bomber and knocked him out in the seventh round, claiming his WBC belt. Oh! It puts him down! Fury scores the stature. It belies his skill and his nimbleness. And it's a knockdown is scored! Up. He is the winner by way of technical knockout, the Gypsy King. He became a world champion again. He became the Gypsy King again. Meanwhile, Usyk had his second fight in heavyweight, facing former contender for the world title in the heavyweight division, Derek Chisora. In 2020, he met the British boxer, defeating him by unanimous decision and thereby earning the right to fight Anthony Joshua. Well, how do you assess your own performance? Yeah, I think good, uh, my boxing. You know, it, this it's real testing heavyweight, you know? Yeah, it's testing, uh, just sort of big guy, hard guy. You know, it's, it's beautiful boxing, I love boxing. After moving to the new weight class, Usyk fought infrequently and not always confidently with changes in opponents, injuries, and the pandemic taking their toll. But in 2021, an opportunity presented itself. Negotiations for the Joshua vs. Fury boat had to be abandoned, leading Usyk to face Joshua instead of the initially planned match against Joe Joyce. He showcased his prowess, silencing a legion of skeptics. At that time, the Briton held the WBA Super, WBO, IBF, and IBO belts. The showdown between Alexander Usyk and Anthony Joshua was a clash between Olympic champions from the same games. In the 2012 London Olympics, Usyk competed in heavyweight and Joshua in super heavyweight. At that moment, both boxers were young talents fighting at the amateur level, and both emerged victorious in the Olympics. On September 25, 2021, Usyk faced the Briton in London and created a sensation winning by unanimous decision. fight you expected to have from Anthony Joshua tonight? I thought he was going to be tougher, but maybe I was ready for it. Thus, Alexander secured Joshua's four championship titles. After this bout, only two boxers in the heavyweight division held championship belts. Tyson Fury, WBC and Ring, and Alexander Usyk, WBA Super, WBO, IBF, IBO. 
Instead of the super fight against Joshua for the undisputed championship, Fury had to engage in a third bout with his old rival, the Bronze Bomber. This time, Deontay approached the fight as the underdog, as no one believed in him given Fury's ability to absorb punches. In 2021, the Gypsy King concluded the trilogy with Wilder, knocking out the depleted American with a right overhand in the 11th round. This is a hard-hitting home run battle. Wilder's got a good oh! right hand by Fury, and down goes Deontay Wilder. Big shot. Fury throwing it up again. And down oh! goes Wilder, and that's it. It's over. Russell Mora waves it off. He's not counting. It's a great, great fight, and uh, it had all the drama that you could ask. Nothing. I have never seen a heavyweight fight compared to this one. Never, ever, ever. This is the best heavyweight fight that I have ever seen. Following Wilder, the Gypsy King confidently defeated WBC interim champion Dylan White, turning off his lights in the sixth round. Fury with the uppercut! What a punch! The rise of the cup! Tyson Fury defends the WBC ring magazine and lineal heavyweight championship with the punch of After securing a resounding victory, Fury announced the end of his boxing career for the sake of his wife, disappointing a vast number of fans. While the Gypsy King took a break from boxing and enjoyed family life, another heavyweight champion from Ukraine, Alexander Usyk, continued to pave his way to the top of world boxing. On August 20th, 2022, the rematch with Joshua took place, where Usyk had to defend his titles. The fight went the full 12 rounds, concluding with Usyk's victory by a split decision. Very light on his feet. He did that so well. Better start than he had. He was all right the body. This is moving target. Guys, I'm telling you, this guy to be me tonight, Maybe I could have done better, but it shows the levels of hard work he must have put in. So please give him a round of applause as our heavyweight champion of the world. Woo! Thus, the Ukrainian boxer managed to retain his world champion belts in the WBO, WBA, IBF and IBO versions in the heavyweight division. Additionally, Usyk won the title of The Ring magazine champion, which became vacant after Tyson Fury announced his retirement. Later, the Ukrainian successfully defended his title against British contender Daniel Dubois, defeating him with a ninth round knockout despite a low blow from the challenger. What he came in at again. There's a body shot. Is that low? Well, the referee signals timeout. That was a low blow from Daniel Dubois. Straight. Oh. Great shot. Right hand. Great shot. Daniel Dubois down. And Usyk just nods his head. Can Daniel Dubois beat the count? How can Usyk be guilty in wearing shorts? Propose that he is ready to fight without shorts. In 2023, Tyson Fury returned to the big boxing stage for a lucrative bout against former UFC champion Francis Ngannou. He won the fight, but not without difficulty. I mean, I don't know what I was watching. I don't know what Tyson Fury was doing. If that version fights Usyk, it's a mismatch. Fury defended his WBC belt and maintained his undefeated status, yet many questions lingered about that particular bout. The Gypsy King significantly underestimated his opponent and approached the encounter too nonchalantly, paying the price during the fight. As a result, the date for his match against Usyk for the undisputed champion status had to be postponed to February 17th. Nevertheless, the fight is set, and both fighters eagerly anticipate this meeting, as the delay has been prolonged. Thank you. Get knocked out, cold sausage, rabbit. And your two promoters are going to be working for me as bag carriers. We will see, yeah. Yeah, we, we will see. see. Uh huh. You can't beat me. You can never beat me. If you, if you beat me in your dreams, you better wake up and apologize. I stole that from Ali, by the way, sorry. <laughs> 
Everything said so far means nothing now. Both fighters face a new challenge that could forever etch one of their names in boxing history as one of the greatest. The heavyweight division has not seen an undisputed champion for almost a quarter of a century, and in the era of four belts, no super heavyweight has held all titles simultaneously. The last undisputed champion in heavyweight was Lennox Lewis, who lost that status in 2000. Back then, achieving an undisputed championship required unifying three titles – WBC, WBA, and IBF. Since 2007, securing the fourth title, WBO, became necessary for an undisputed championship. Fifteen years have passed, and the world has yet to witness a heavyweight achieving this feat. Therefore, the bout between Fury and Usyk will be truly historic and intriguing. Although Usyk is considered the underdog, there is no clear favor in this fight. Public opinion is divided. Some believe Usyk is faster and more technical than Fury, while others argue that Tyson is not inferior in these aspects and has an advantage in size, which he maximizes effectively. You know, even though I, I think Usyk will win, because for one thing, he he's a tough fighter and he don't give up and he quicker, he quicker. And so I, I, I don't think that uh, Tyson Fury would be able to compete with how many punches he's going to throw. Tyson Fury, is, he's overpowered. He can't run that long with him. Tyson's going to wear him down, going to get on him, going to wear him down, slow him down, and he's going to pound on him. But regardless of opinions, one thing is certain, the fight promises to be captivating, with everything at stake. And that's it! Like the video? Then be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. What do you think? Who will become the undisputed heavyweight champion? Which boxer will lose their unbeaten record? Can Alexander become the undisputed champion in two weight classes? Share your thoughts in the comments!